Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. She's won 12 Grammy Awards, 23 Dove Awards, seven Stellar Awards, and sold over five million albums in the U.S. alone, mm. making her one of the most celebrated gospel artists of all time. Now she's continuing her successful run in music with a new holiday album called Something's Happening, a Christmas album. Please welcome my favorite female gospel artist of all times, Cece Winer! I had, to, I had to take it. I had to take that. Yes. Okay. Oh, okay I, and this is not on script what I'm about to say, but I don't care. My <laughs> favorite song I used to put on repeat all the time was The Way Love is Supposed to Be. To be. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Wow. Okay. Okay. okay, back to Sister Circle. Wow. Okay. okay. Um, Cece Winan. Yes. First of all, we're so honored to have you Yes, here. thank you. So I'm so second, honored to be oh here. Oh, my God. And uh, so all these years of all these accomplishments, um, just laboring in God and the Spirit, how have you been able to, through this industry, mm -hmm. um, navigate, and s navigate through this industry and still be anchored in mm -hmm. your faith mm -hmm. and love for God? You know, um, it's pretty easy. It's just keeping it first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I think we complicate things a lot, you know, and just having a relationship with the Lord and making sure He's first no matter what you're doing mm -hmm. um, keeps you in the right path. Yes. You know, and then, of course, we can never belittle prayers. People are praying for me all the time. Yes. yes. And I appreciate every single prayer because prayer really works. Yes. It really does. Yes, right? it does. It, it works. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Uh, Miss Winans. Yes. <laughs> You've been singing with your musical match for decades, and you know, you formed a, a wonderful union, but yet, after you guys, with BB, of course. Yes, BB, yeah. Brother Bibi, Family, and, yes. Yes. And, but <laughs> after you guys separated, so to speak, mm -hmm. you were still able to maintain your solo career, which is sometimes really difficult, especially when, when families, because they'll compare and they'll contrast, right. and then somebody will fall off or whatever. Right. But you still managed to, to stand alone on your own. So how did <sighs> that match with you and your brother allow you to stay strong in a solo career? You know what? That's a really good question because you understand. Yes, I you know. know <laughs> that whole thing. Um, well, a lot of people don't know that when B.B. and I signed to do a duet deal years ago, mm -hmm. we signed to do solo deals at the same time with Capitol oh, wow. Records. Mm. And so we just started doing the duet projects for, you know, the years. Mm -hmm. And then it was time for us to, to fulfill the, uh, the obligation of doing the solo careers, mm -hmm. too. And so, but I'm with you because when I was in the studio, I was doing the songs, I was like, you know what? The world has never heard me without BB. Right, right. Yes. They might not like this. Well, no. Yes, they we do. We like love it. But because it was a whole different style, it, yes, uh -huh. it, was. it was more of a worship feel. It was, um, but but um, before the single came out, "Alone in His Presence," mm -hmm. um, somebody told me they had. I had sent it to my pastors actually, and they told me they put it on the answering service, and I didn't know this. Mm -hmm. And they said a lady called, and she was really in a panic. She was contemplating suicide. Mm. The girl who answered the phone was in a panic, so she put her on hold. Mm -hmm. And when she came back, the lady was totally calm. Oh, wow. wow. And she said, what is that on your answering service? Mm. The anointing. And the Lord didn't even, yes. I mean, she didn't <laughs> even realize what it was, but when they told me that, I was like, you know what? If it doesn't sell one record, mm -hmm. it was worth it. Oh, yes. just, you know? My so, God. So, you know, it kind of started like that. And, and I just realized, you know, this is who I am by myself. You had your own separate this anointing. This is what God right. has given me, mm -hmm. and this is what I'm going to do. Um, and oh. thank God that you did. Uh, yes. yes, um, uh, looking at gospel music right now, musically mm -hmm. and lyrically, mm -hmm. it has changed and evolved. Um, how do you think this progression um, is, affects the gospel world? Do you think it is a good thing, or do you think that we, there's still more that needs to be done with gospel, or is it a good evolution? I think it's good. I think it's good. I think a lot more is going to come. Mm. You know, every generation, God raises up people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's not going to always look the same. Mm -hmm. You know, what we did didn't look the same. Right. You know, and that's good because you have to reach a whole new generation. And mm -hmm. so you got a different sound. You have different ways people express themselves. 
Um, and I think it's all it's all been amazing. Mm. Yeah. And you know what else is amazing? What? The fact that every single whining. Everyone. <laughs> every single whining. Everyone. If, if y'all don't know y'all got some whinings overseas, I bet you they can yeah, sing. Yeah. <laughs> every single whining yes. can sing. I mean, Mario even sings. Uh, Eric produces. That's right. The that's right. Baby. Yeah. Baby. Yeah. So <laughs> being, with, with that being said, and yeah. having all of this amazing music uh -huh. in your bloodline, mm -hmm. um, how important is it to, to connect musically? You know what I'm saying? Because already you're connected by blood, but how, how important is it to As do music family? together? Yes, because you did an album with your son and it won yes. two Grammys. <laughs> well, so you know, how important is that? She knows, I mean, it's no work in that. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's a blessing when you're able to sing with your family. It is. Mm -hmm. Because they know you, you yes. know. BB knows my strengths and my weaknesses, mm -hmm. and and it's nothing stronger than that to me. That's true. You know, and so to see it continue on, through generation to generation, yes. it's pretty exciting. My oh, God, well, my yeah, God. it's exciting. I, I can't even take it. There, there's just so much I want to <laughs> say. I, just, I can't contain myself right now because I know how difficult it is to be, you know, cut from the same cloth mm -hmm. and to sing together and then to hear and hear and try to find your own voice. Yeah. And you just managed to do that because when you guys were together, when you and BB were together, right, right. you know, you guys had one sound. One sound. When, when it was yeah. just Cece Winans, you had a whole nother sound, sound that was just Cece. But you know what? You can't be afraid of that. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of times family, and I just found me, I tell a lot of young artists starting, there's nothing, nobody can beat me being CC. Can I beat you, period? You know? <laughs> can I beat you, period? Hello, somebody. Yeah, but that statement. but yes. you have that corner being yourself, yes. you know? And so you, everybody has something special to yes, give. Everybody's true. important. And when you're in a large family, mm -hmm. so, you know, you, you, it's great when you're together, but you're great separately, too, oh, you know? Yes. And you have to know that and just... Trust what God has given you. Yes, oh, we're just okay. enjoying you so much. <laughs> yes, we can uh, pick up CC Wine's new album, Something's Happening, a Christmas album yes. in stores, and we can find it online. Yes, next up, CC Wine's will drop more gems at the table with all the sisters. And so if you're with us for the hour, stay with us and keep listening and seeing. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
No, I've never considered that. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> You know, count on me. Again, a lot of times people, because you're a gospel artist, they kind of just try to put you in one corner. Mm -hmm. But but God is everywhere, mm -hmm. you know? And so um, when you when you talk about love, God created love. Yes. You know, it mm -hmm. was his idea, mm -hmm. you know? Yes. And so doing count on me, friendship, you know, mm -hmm. I'm a believer, but I'm, I'm a mom, I'm okay. a wife. I'm a sister, I'm a friend, mm -hmm. you know, I'm a daughter. And so we, we live life, you know. So we, we might do other things like Count On Me again. It wasn't what you would call a gospel song, but yeah. it was a friendship song. It was yes. a great song. And it was, it was a song that was real, because me and Whitney were real friends. Mm -hmm. And um, I had a good time doing it. Yeah. 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 Man, yeah, so speaking like of line. secular music, um, this wine. I wonder if, you know, in the, in the, in the secular world, mm -hmm. there is a, a huge, you know, there's huge focal point of or focus on body image. Okay. And so I wonder if in the gospel world that body image is an issue or something that is that like bothers women mm -hmm. in the in the gospel world like mm -hmm. it like it kind of does in mm -hmm. the secular world. Have you ever had to deal with body image even though being sexual is not really that doesn't really go with the gospel. Right. World. So <laughs> I mean, have you ever Trying had to deal with it in general? Gospel yeah. 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 Yeah.